여러분 안녕하십니까? Hello everyone. 마가복음입니다. This is the Gospel of Mark. 오늘 1장 12절 13절을 읽겠습니다. Today we'll read from chapter 1 verses 12 and 13. 성령이 곧 예수를 광야로 몰아내신지라. And immediately the spirit driveth him into the wilderness. 광야에 40일을 계시사 사단에게 시험을 받으시면 매 And he was there in the wilderness forty days, tempted of Satan, and was with the wild beasts. And the angels ministered unto him. Jesus was by, led by the Holy Spirit to the wilderness. 그리고 광야에 40일을 계시며 사단의 시험을 받으셨어요. And he was in the wilderness for 40 days and was tempted by Satan. 그리고 덜 짐승들과 함께 계셨고 And was with the wild beasts. 천사들이 수종을 들었다고 기록돼 있어요. And it tells us that the angels ministered unto him. 자, 예수님도 우리와 똑같은 사람인데 Jesus was a human just like us. 몸을 가지고 있습니다. He had the human body. 예수님 몸은 금식하고 광야에 있고 뭐 이런 싫어하실 겁니다. The body of Jesus must have been uncomfortable being hungry and uh, being in the wilderness. 이제 그런데 성령은 예수님을 광야로 이끌어 가셨습니다. But the Holy Spirit led Jesus to the wilderness. 마귀와 이제 전쟁을 한번 하는 겁니다. And going to war against the devil. 여러분 여기 이제 마태복음 좀더 자세히 이야기하는데 In Matthew this is talked about in more detail. 이제 마귀가 예수님 시험하지요. Uh, the devil tempts Jesus. 40일 금식아 줄이셨는데. He had fasted for 40 days. He was 아니, hungry. 네가 만일 하나님 아들 이 돌이 뚝뚝이가 되게 해라. If you are the son of God, make these stones into bread. 아주 간교한 방법으로 예수님을 속입니다. In using deceiving ways, the devil tried to deceive Jesus. 우리 같은 뭐라고 말했어요? What would we have said in that situation? No. If Joseph was Jesus, what would he have said? You don't think I could make these stones into bread? I'll do it right now. Maybe we would have done that. We are easily deceived by the devil. But Jesus was not deceived by the devil. Jesus said, In Matthew it says, Man shall not live by bread alone, but live by the every word that proceeded from the mouth of God. Here, what the bread represents is what the flesh desires. But the word of God is what our spirit desires. For the most part, we live following the desires of our flesh. But after we discover God and receive Jesus, Then from then on we begin to follow the will of God. No, none of us would like to be in the wilderness. But not just being in the wilderness. No, we don't like being hungry. And we don't like being tempted by the devil. But the Lord had to do these things. Because he was facing off against the devil. He had to win. If you be the son of God. Make these stones into bread. Oh yeah, you don't think I could? See, it's bread. Here you go. That's how the devil wanted to tempt Jesus. But Jesus quietly replied, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. If Jesus did not defeat the devil, if Jesus was defeated, if he's a servant of the devil, then he would not be able to defeat the devil and save us. But right here, I want to applaud and cheer. Yes, that Jesus defeated the devil. That's why we don't have to be servants of the devil. As long as we're in Jesus, the devil cannot harm us. For that, Jesus was crucified and he forgave our sins, but But Jesus also did the work of defeating the power of the devil. Because Jesus defeated fundamentally the devil. He was able to deliver us out from the snare of the devil. 1 Corinthians chapter 15 tells us, O death, where is your victory? O death, where is thy sting? 
The death of the sting is sin, and the power of the sin is the law. But it says that we are victorious in our Lord Jesus Christ. He has defeated temptation, he has defeated sin. Jesus, who is our captain, has defeated sin. If Jesus had not defeated sin, we would still be servants to sin. We would be living bound in sin. But because Jesus defeated sin, there is no reason for us to follow sin and be servants to sin. When I think about this, how thankful I am to God, I cannot say in words. After believing in Jesus, and the Jesus who defeated Satan is protecting me. Even though I cannot defeat Satan, I cannot defeat sin, and I cannot defeat temptation, but because there is Jesus inside of me, through that Jesus, I can defeat Satan, defeat sin. I'm able to do all that. It's so amazing. If Jesus had not defeated death, if Jesus had not defeated Satan, then we would be servants of sin and servants of Satan. But Jesus defeated sin and he delivered us out from sin. We're no longer fallen in sin. We are free from sin. We have come alive. We are free from sin. We have the freedom of Jesus. How amazing this is. After I received salvation, as I've lived, I had many hardships. And there were many temptations. But God was with me and through Jesus I was able to overcome these things. I was discharged from the army in 1968. And then in 69 I preached the gospel at a city called Gyeongbuk Kimcheon. And at that time I was no longer like my old self. But by that time I was inside of Jesus. Even though I had nothing at all. As Jesus was with me, everything of Jesus became mine. I had no money to find a place to stay. I had been just discharged from the army. And while I was in the army for about three years, you know, I had no idea of how much things cost. I did not know how much it cost to get a place. At that time, I had maybe about three dollars. And I didn't know if I could find a place to live with that much money. I went to Kimcheon and I saw a place. They were asking me for $70 for that space. And the money I had was not even one twentieth of that. And I looked around as I walked the city of Kimcheon. I was walking around the downtown and there were all these buildings there. Oh, there's the bookstore. Oh, there's a cafe. I walked around and looked at the buildings one by one. But there are many different houses, so many different things. But I had no space for me. So I prayed by myself and I said, God, there is a cafe. There is a tailor shop. And there is a restaurant. Even the God of this world gives buildings to his people. But I'm the son of God. Wouldn't you give me a place? Give me a house. I prayed to God. And I had the heart that God would give me a house. And I lived in mountains called Apgokdong. 
And then whenever I had time, even though I had no money, I went out to look for a space, look for a house. And that day I finished looking around. And then I wanted to head back to Apgokdong through Kimcheon, so I got on the bus to go to Kimcheon. But a foreigner came and sat down next to me on the bus. And on the way to Kimcheon, the two of us spoke. I asked them, what's your name? John Anderson. He said, John Anderson. I said, really? I asked him, what country are you from? I'm from England. I asked him, what do you do? He said, oh, I'm a missionary. I said, I said really, I also believe in Jesus. And then I, he, I asked him, where are you going? Oh, he said, I'm traveling. I said, what kind of a trip is it? Is it a mission trip? He said, no, I'm just traveling. I got angry. What kind of missionary is just traveling and not even preaching the gospel? How wrong you are! 성교, do you get funds from your mission? 아, yes, I do, he says. You spend your mission funds and all you do is go around traveling? But he was such a gentleman. He just kept on listening. 하다, and then, you know, I couldn't speak anymore, so we stopped. And we arrived in Kimcheon. And then I got in on the line to buy a ticket to go to Apgokdong. And he walked away from me and then turned back and came to me. He said to me, Mr. Park, yes? Could I spend a night at your house tonight? He asked me. Sure, my place is not that nice, but you could spend the night there. So he came to my place in Apgokdong and spent the night there. Apgokdong back then, it's completely in the mountains, in the woods. And so at the bottom of the mountain, so we had no running water and there was no well. And in the mountains, clean waters flowed. I just lived drinking from that. And I had no problems. But this missionary came and I gave him that water. He had stomach aches from it. And all night long, he was going in and out of the bathroom. I thought, oh, I'll, I was very thoughtless. I should have boiled you the water. But I was fine with it, so I served you the water. I'm sorry. And right then I realized that the Korean stomach is stronger than the British stomach. <laughs> He stayed with me for four days and he had a very tough time. He was aching and in a lot of pain. And later on he said to me, Mr. Park, if I die, please send my body to my wife. I was I felt so bad. On the fourth day, he got up. He says, I'll be leaving. I told him, I'm so sorry. And he said to me, Mr. Park, there's something I want to tell you. May I say it? I told him, yes, go ahead. I just want to live one year with you. I'm not a good looking man. I'm not a nice guy. Why do you want to come live with me? And he said, I've never seen anyone who lives like you do. I've seen many pastors and missionaries, but I've never seen anyone who lives like you do. That's right, back then I had nobody who helped me. I lived relying only on God. I went through a lot of hunger. But he said to me, I have a favor to ask of you. What is it? Let me live with you for just one year. And I said to him, Why do you want to live one year with me? I want to learn how to live like you, he said. I really ask of you, please let me live with you for one year. 
So I asked him, Do you get funds from England for your mission work? He said, Yes, I do. And I said to him, I don't have anyone who helps me. But I just pray to God every day. But a problem is, you get your mission funds and you have plenty of bread. And I don't have any bread. Then you're going to try to offer me your bread. And I'll be eyeing the bread at your house. I want to rely on God. Can you promise me this? Even though I don't have any bread and you have plenty of bread that we're not going to share. He said, sure. I said, okay, fine. Then go find a place for yourself in Kimchen, I told him. And he was very happy. And he left. And 10 days later, he came back to me. Mr. Park, I have really good news. God gave me money to find to buy a nice house in Kimcheon. Oh, I said, Oh God. You know, when a person from England prays, you answer his prayers so easily, but how do you not answer my prayers? I said to God. I think it was a time when God for training me. Truly, we had no choice but to look up to God. I had no way, nothing I could do. But that day, I was very thankful. So, so we got a house together. And he used one room on this side, and I used another room on the other side. And until now, as I live inside of the Lord, now our church is big. And we have meetings with pastors from all around the world. You know, financially, we live without any discomfort. Before, eating breakfast was very difficult. Everything was difficult financially. But as I went through this process, just like when Jesus was in the wilderness, I too had such a time. But after that, God began to fill me up. And so amazingly, God filled us up. Until now, I've never asked for things from people. Sometimes things get very difficult and very poor. And sometimes we didn't have food. But we have God. And when I thought about how God helps me, it was not a problem at all. And as I've lived until now, now I have many church members who help me. So I don't run out of food. And I eat at our church cafeteria. I eat breakfast at home. And then I come to church early in the morning. And I stay here all day long and go back home at night. I eat lunch at church. I eat dinner at church. And really, without any shortcomings, God was helping me. I'm so thankful. We sent missionaries to many countries. And we need to get religious permissions from those countries. And we needed to buy land and build buildings for every time. But each time, God would help us and work amazingly. Before, Jesus did something great. He was driven by the Spirit into the wilderness. And the Holy Spirit left Jesus to the devil. And the devil tempted Jesus. If you're the Son of God, make these stones into bread. That's how the devil tempted the Lord. 
속지 않았습니다. Jesus was not deceived by the devil. 놀라운 은혜로 가지고 with amazing grace. 하늘 복된 삶을 살 수가 있었습니다. He was able to live the blessed life of God. 얼마나 감사한지 말로 다할 수 없어. I was able to live the blessed life. I'm so 그 thankful to God. 예수님 그렇게 일하시면서 And as Jesus worked that way. 우리의 부족함 다 채워 주시는 거예요. I he filled up all of our lacking. 그러기 위해서 예수 시대 못 빨리 죽으실 뿐 아니라 So Jesus not only died on the cross. 감주다가 예수님 배신한 것도 참으셔야 했고. He had to go through Judas Iscariot betraying. 베드로 도망가는 그런 어려움도 겪어야 했고. There was the hardship of Peter running away. 저 광야에서 마귀에게 시험도 받으셔야 했어. And he had to be tempted of the devil in the wilderness. 마귀 네가 만일 하나님 아들은 이 돌이 뚝뚝이가 되게 해라. The devil said, If you are the son of God, make these stones into bread. 아 이기시는 거예요. Jesus overcame them all. 네 정말. 마귀 하나하나 속일 때마다. And each time the devil would deceive one by one. 넘어가지 않았습니다. Jesus did not just pass it by. 성전 꼭대 뛰어 내리라. The devil said to him, jump off the top of the temple. 내게 어떠를 전함 이 모든 영광 내게 주리라. You know, you bow down to me and all this glory shall be yours. 마귀가 유혹이 될 만한 거 예수 유혹했지만. The devil thought that he could tempt Jesus. 그래서 사단에 속지 아니하고. But Jesus was not deceived. 그냥 하나님을 섬겼습니다. He simply served God. 그런 것들 우리 볼때 너무 너무 놀랐고. And when we see these things, it is so amazing and so precious. 정말 놀랍게 우리를 구원해 주셨고. Jesus so amazingly saved us. 무슨 놀라운 일에 얼마나 감사한지 말로 다할 수가 없어. And how amazingly He works inside of us, I cannot say how thankful I am. 이제 이천 천 죄송합니다. 1968년도에 In 1968, I was discharged from the army. 69년 3월 달에 김천에 왔었어요. And then in March of 69, I came to Kimcheon. 아무도 도와주는 사람이 없었어요. And there was nobody who helped me. 김천 살면서 하나님이 순간 순간 나를 도우시는 걸 보면서. As I lived in Kimcheon, as I saw God helping me moment by moment. 제가 하나님만을 믿을 수밖에 없었습니다. I was able to believe only in God. 그 여러 가지 어려움 있을 때마다. And whenever I had many hardships. 내가 하나님이 없을 때 작은 문제 어떤 그것도 벗어나지 말고. And so when I didn't have God with me, I could not be free from small problems. But each time I saw God living and working inside of me, it was so amazing and thankful. And the Lord so amazingly led me and guided me. I cannot say how thankful I am. A lot of time has passed. Now in just one year, it will be 60 years since I've been inside of Jesus, been born again. 지난 60년 가까이 동안 예수님 정말 많은 일을 하셨고. The last 60 years, Jesus has done so much work. 내가 일한 게 주님이 내 안에 오셔서 일을 하셨습니다. It was not me working, but the Lord inside of me working. 그때 너무 너무 감사하고 아름다웠습니다. And each time it was so thankful and so beautiful. 그리고 코로나는 굉장히 많이 어려웠는데. Because of Corona, we had a lot of hardships. 참 세상에 많은 나라가 많은 죽고 어려웠습니다. And in many countries, many people died. It was very difficult. 그런데 제가 이 코로나 일로 말하면 전 세계 보험의 문을 여셔서. But through the corona incident, God was able to open the world doors of the gospel around the whole world. 전 세계 수없이 많은 사람들이 이 복음을 듣도록 해주시고. And God allowed many people around the world to hear this gospel. 이제 그 첫해는 276개. The first year, 276 TV stations broadcasted our sermons. 그 다음에 우리가 그 가을에는 and the fall of that year 정말 상상할 수 없는 놀라운 일을 한 것이 amazing things we could never imagine happened. 655 개 방송국에서 우리 방송을 중계해 줬어. 655 TV stations televised our sermons. 네 시간. Each session. 아침에 자고 일어나면 when I would wake up in the morning, 수없이 많은 목사님들이 제게 감사도 이제 글이 올라오거나. Many many pastors posted me notes telling me they are thankful. 잘 믿어지지가 않습니다. I cannot believe it. 꿈 같은 일들을 it was like a dream. 하늘이 행하고 계시. God was achieving them. 예수님 살아서 저희 제가 하늘을 한 동안에 and as Jesus was alive working in my life, 그가 몸도 주시고 he gave me a healthy body. 또 아들 딸도 이렇게 복음에 살수 있도록 해주시고 and he also allowed my son and my daughter to live for the gospel. 특히 딸은 그리스 저 뭐야 그라시아 합창단을 만들어서 and my daughter especially formed the Gracias Choir. 좋은 음악을 참 많은 사람들의 마음을 주님께로 이끌고 and with good music led the hearts of many people to the Lord. 아들은 또 뉴욕에서 목회를 하면서 and my son is ministering in New York. 많은 날 예수의 복음을 전해서 and preaching the gospel of Jesus to many people. 큰 역사 
And great works are happening. When I see that, I'm so thankful. I cannot say it all in words. God is so amazing. I am so thankful. Now, a lot of time has passed. I'm old in age. I've aged. But God is still working. And I'm thankful that I could continue to preach the gospel. After the corona, many TV stations televised our sermons. And we were able to be broadcast on CTN. And it was so amazing, beautiful, blessed how God opened the doors before me. Jesus fasted for 40 days in the wilderness and he was tempted by the devil. But amazingly, Jesus overcame all those temptations. He overcame them for us. And from the power of the devil, he freed us from sin. And the peace and the freedom of Jesus has been given to us. And he has allowed us to live the blessed life. I'm so thankful for that. Now, there's many members in my church and I get to preach the gospel. And all I have is a thankful heart to the Lord. Me, I am a nobody. But as Jesus came into my heart. Before I was led by Satan. Now I'm so thankful that I'm living being led by Jesus. I wanted to tell you how precious and blessed is the work that the Lord has done through us. I received the forgiveness of sins by the blood of Jesus. There's the desires of the flesh in me and there's the works of the Holy Spirit as well. But the important thing is through the Holy Spirit, through the Lord, I was able to overcome the desires of the flesh and that we can also defeat Satan. I'm so thankful about that. So that gospel can be preached in our lives. And and when I see many people receiving the forgiveness of sins and being born again, I'm so thankful. So I praise God. And that Jesus protects and guards us. And he will protect us until the day we go to heaven. I'm so thankful I cannot say in words. And God is alive and working powerfully inside of us. I give praise to God. Everyone, that Jesus is with us. I have accepted those words of that Jesus. And accepted and believed in my heart that Jesus has forgiven my sins. And I'm so thankful that God is working so amazingly. In your life as well. Do not believe your thoughts yeah, and your flesh. 믿으면, but if you believe the word of God, 여러분, God will work inside of you. 여러분, and I believe God will deliver you out from sin, from hardship, from darkness. I give thanks to God. And I'll see you again next time. 안녕히 Everyone, take care. 감사합니다. Thank you. Be there where grace abounds more. Pastor Oksu Park's lectures on the Gospel of Mark will continue every Saturday at 9 p.m. Eastern, right here on CTN. For spiritual counseling, visit us at gnmusa.org. Call 1-888-466-9846 for more information.